Today we want to look at how to make a word search puzzle. So we're logged into BookBolt and what we need to do is we need to go over to create. We, we can do a lot of research, um, but we want to go over to create. Now with create, we get uh, the puzzle whiz um, icon to where we can go to make puzzles. Now let me just make this point is that uh, in order to be able to access PuzzleWiz, you have to have a pro account on BookBolt. So we're going to go into PuzzleWiz, and there's all sorts of puzzles that uh, we can do. But um, what we want to do is we want to do the word search puzzle. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on that. Now, before we are able to make um, a word search puzzle, what we have to do is we have to identify the words to put in the word search puzzle. And this one I've made is about presidents. I've done it in Excel. Um, you can also go into Google and, and do it on theirs too. But um, I'm used to Excel, so that's what I do. So what you do is that you go ahead and put your words in here and you can go down to 20 uh, to be on one puzzle or whatever. I usually use uh, from 10 to 15. So you put the words you want down in one puzzle, you list them down, and then whenever you stop and you want to st uh, start a new puzzle, you have, you skip a space. So Lincoln to Roosevelt will be one puzzle, and from Reagan to Johnson will be another puzzle. So you have to skip that space in order to do it. Now what we need to do is we need to save this file as a CSV file. What we do is, is we go up here to save it and we do a save as. Now, let me just uh, caution you about one thing. I'm on a Mac and I'm running Excel and I'm not exactly sure what version of Excel I've got but I've got to save this as a CSV file in order for the word search to work. So I click this. Now I want you to notice there are a couple of options for the CSV. They've got just a regular comma separated values dot CSV, or if you go down here and look, they have some different CSVs, the Windows common separated CSV, or the MS-DOS comma separated CSV. Now let me just caution you because if you use this CSV and if you save that file as this CSV and upload it in, into BookBolt, it's not going to work. So what you have to do is you have to go down to where it says Windows comma separated the CSV that is the one that works, at least on my version of Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save it to a Windows comma separated. And that's going to save on the desktop. It gives me all kinds of warnings and I just ignore those. So I'm good on that. So I have two puzzles for my word search puzzle. And I could go down, you know, as far as I wanted to go. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do two. Now we're going to go back to Book Bolt. Now we're back in the Book Bolt and we're back on the puzzle screen and the word search. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell it what to do. So um, you first have the bleed or no bleed option. I always keep it at bleed. That seems to work well. The size, you have different sizes. Uh, I usually use a six by nine size. Um, so that's what I use. You're going to have it double-sided or single-sided. I just keep it at double-sided. And the number of pages basically matches the number of puzzles that you're going to do. Uh, I've done two puzzles, so I'm going to change that to two pages. Now, these pages needs to line up with what you say the amount of pages are whenever you do your cover. So I've got two pages and then I've got all sorts of fonts that I can choose from in order to uh, make the word search letters look nice. What I like is the courier. So 
all I have to do is go in here and type CO or C and then it will take me down to those and I like the Courier Prime. That's what I normally use. So then we go down to we have some options. We use random sentences if the file's not meeting the requirements. Uh, I never do that because my file usually meets requirements. Include solutions. Yes, we want to do that. Match puzzle and solution pages. Yes, we want to do that. And match the page numbers. Now we've got to select the file. So this is the file, the CSV file that we did earlier that we're going to upload as the word search file. Okay, I think it is right there. Okay, so we're going to open that up. We're ready to go. So we go down to submit and we hit submit and then it tells us that the document's being processed. And the more puzzles you have, the longer it's going to take. But since we only have two, it uh, didn't take that long. So now we can download our, our document. We hit that and it downloads and it takes it to a PDF file into your downloads file. I can just go ahead and open it up now. And this is the interior for my word search puzzle. Here's the first page, then I can go down and there's the next puzzle. I have two puzzles. Then I have uh, the solutions for each puzzle. There's the solutions for the first puzzle and there's the solutions for the second puzzle. So that's uh, how you make the interior of a word search puzzle in BookBolt. It's really easy and I highly recommend using BookBolt in order to make your word search puzzles because it's really easy to do.